Shalom, shalom. Kum yasala. Kuhaloim la. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekach Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say Thawada to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Shah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And we got another one, man. It says, sloth fever, as sloth fever spreads across the U.S., what to know about Oropoch, the virus concerning the CDC. So I'm not, shit, I'm not even sure if I was pronouncing that right. I might have been butchering that. Oropoch, Oropoch, or whatever. Anyway, but it's being, it's called sloth fever. This is an um, article from the Inside Edition. And man, what, what, how many, how many hookups have we heard of in the past month? They even they 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 mentioned polio. They mentioned, of course, you know the the um the B I R D F L U. You got that. You got the um the C O V supposedly coming back. They got a new band aid for that, an emergency band aid for that. Um, you got the the orangutan um P O X or the the gorilla the, the gorilla pox. You got um man, it's like ten different things they didn't <laughs> they didn't named off. Within the past, I don't know, man, maybe month, two months, you know, as far as um, global outbreaks. Well, I don't know, shit, fucking WHO, the who people talking shit, you know. So it's a lot of stuff that's out here, man. So you just never know where Esau going to come from with this thing, man. You know, they want you. And now all of a sudden it's the season to go and get all the Band-Aids, of course. They want you to get like fucking i don't even know how many band-aids for how many different um so-called infections man so you just never know what Esau. i just wanted to just put this out here so we can you know be circumspect the lord said to watch and pray so that's exactly what we're doing as the watchman man but it says the spread of sloth fever has concerned officials with the cdc which is pleading with the public to take precautions to avoid contracting the potential deadly virus the agency urges urging of caution comes as nine new cases connected to international travel reported in florida in just a week's time the state has reported 20 cases in total sloth fever is generally more common in south um south and central america and is spread by small biting flies and mosquitoes and i have been seeing them since too that season for them small last little day i think they call them little, little horse fly i don't know i think the horse flies a little bigger it has been given the name sloth fever because sloths are among animals infected regularly, according to reports. The term sloth fever is a colloquial name that has emerged due to the virus being found in areas where sloths, which are known to carry a range of parasites and pathogens, are um, present. Carolina Gong Calves, superintendent pharmacist at Pharmaca, told the independent however the name is relatively misleading as it is spread by insects insect bites not direct contact with sloths sloth fever or the oropache virus was first detected in trinidad and tobago in 1950s this year there have been more than 8,000 confirmed cases uh, the cdc has also issued a health advisory about the possibility for transmission from a mother to the fetus during pregnancy uh oh symptoms of the um symptoms of it include fever sensitivity to light dizziness nausea vomiting severe headache joint and muscle pain chills and or skin rash serious symptoms include severe abdominal pain hemorrhagic symptoms meningitis which cause inflammation of the brain and spinal cord although rare Death is possibly when severe symptoms occur. In most cases, symptoms less, last less than a week. However, the CD, CDC said they can recur days or even weeks later. There's currently no vac, no, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't have no vax for that one or medication to treat the virus or prevent infection, the CDC says. The best way to protect yourself and your family from is to prevent bites from biting mi um, midges mosquitoes the cd says okay so there you have it man now 
Let me just grab a quick scripture, man. Because like I said again, it's it's just too much, man. They they, they coming out with too many things. Come on, bro. You I, I mean it, I it, it, it the list is I've never heard of so many um infectious things like this before, you know. And and we can't sleep on Esau, man, cuz you just never know what this man going to do for real, for real. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And they understand, too, that people are not with it, man. People are not going for it. So they're going to have to come with some real drastic shit to um, really have people to be as, to be afraid, afraid. Like, it's going to have to be some real um, numbers in, 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 in them deletions, man, if they're going to do anything. Well, let's go back, though, um, some of the comments. They generally, you know, they, they always get to talking about stuff like this um, around election time. Um, I guess, and it's, election time kind of goes off into the months of sniffling and sneezing, you know, them type of um, symptoms be going on with the kids going back to school and all this other shit, man. You just never know what Esau, man. This person um, <laughs> says, I'm tired of listening to all this BS about viruses right, right before elections. We'll survive the virus, but maybe not the lies of the Democratic Party. Don't let this and their lies influence you again to not vote. Only if you're a Democrat believe this. Only only if you're a, a, a Democrat believes this BS. And I seen um something yesterday that they was talking about um that the most people that took the band aids, you know what I'm talking about, them jump shots, them Capri Suns, the the uh, the, the, the majority of the people that took it was um Democrats. Hey, I can remember it. Them Republicans is like, fuck you, fuck that. Them Trump, them Trump supporters, them Trump believers. No, nah, they is like, uh, uh nope, we not, we not doing it. Then, cause see, you got um, so called white people. They, they, they understand. They know what's going on. A lot of them that you know, they, they've never been into um, them vaxes anyway. They ain't never want their children to be vaxxed cause they understand. You know what what's going on like man how how you know man they don't tell them what that shit is and what they doing to you man it says it's out there all the time you're just overly politically triggered yeah a lot of people are overly um, politically triggered but that's that's what esau has been doing that's why you know again we're not ignorant of satan's devices he's been putting together this divide let's get that um let's get that real quick because there was a a, a serious divide in the country when um that COV19 was going down, people was, you know, a lot of families broke up, a lot of marriages, um, you know, a lot of divorces went down. Um, you had a lot of in-laws and shit, you know, especially those older um people, those older Democrats, they was like, ah oh, nah, nah, you ain't take the the, the band-aid, you're not coming over to my house for Christmas. People was threatening not, you know, you can't see your grandkids, you you know, you can't come over my house. And then there was people that was like, Oh, you took that shit? Oh, don't come around me because they was feeling like it was, uh, you know, the active, you know, virus, so to speak, within the person, you know what I'm saying, from the from the Band-Aid. Like, oh, you rolled up your sleeve. Uh, ain't no telling what they you, So a lot of people that trust was um, was broken. So this is Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them. And we say Yahweh Shai because that's the true name of the son, um, Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. There's no such thing as Jesus. There was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. If you Google, Google when the letter J was um, invented, it's going to tell you 1524. And it's, it's 2024 right now, so that was like 500 years ago, right? So if the Lord walked the earth 15, I mean um, 2,000 years ago, you know they couldn't have been calling him Jesus. And don't let nobody um, get you in this mindset of it, do it doesn't matter what you call the Lord. It does matter. You better know the real true true um, name of, of the Lord, man. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists with the existing one. And again, the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. Those are the, the Hebrew names, man. The, 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 the prophets, the disciples, the the the, the Lord, how he spoke Hebrew. They spoke Hebrew. They were they're Hebrew Israelites. There's a book called Hebrews in the Bible. What do you think their lineage lineage goes back to? They spoke Hebrew. 
So when the angel Gabriel came, he gave him a Hebrew name to give him. He didn't give him a Greek name or a damn English name. Well, no damn, even though English wasn't even around there. Anyway, another lesson. But we call him by his name. It says, and Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And this is how stupid Esau is. Esau is dividing his own house. You got you, you, you have a few elite families that are dividing up their own people. And obviously they don't believe that, you know, they just I guess they just want all the power to themselves and just think that they're just going to be able to run the planet with this new world order type shit. Man, look, these people, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're doing nothing but destroying yourself, but it's all prophetic anyway. But this place is split down the middle and, and, and it's, it's, it's real political tensions, man. People are ready to fight. I'm at the um, plantation right now. I'm just outside, you know what I'm saying? And, and man, it's only a handful of us um, Jakes in there, you know what I'm saying? I got to say, man, out of the hundreds of people in the building, man, it, it, it may be about 10 of us. But these old ass Edomites, man, they're disgruntled. They're fucking um, um, pissed. They all broken down and humped over and shit because they had to come out of retirement to work. And these are all Trump supporters, too. I'm in a city of none but Trump supporters, pretty much. I think this was a sundown town, but this city that I work in, and it's, it's pretty much about 95 to 90, uh, you know, give or take, 95, probably about 96, 97 percent um, so-called white people. And they're Trump supporters for real, for real. Yeah, you pretty much roll by every house in this 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 city. You're going to see an American flag up, <laughs> you know, and when you see that, you know that they these and they be serious about politics. So you got one side of so-called white people that believe that Trump is their, their their great white hope. And anybody else that 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 don't agree with that, they, you know, they looking at you as an enemy. And I you know, um, I know um, the elder yesterday in New York. He was doing a live. He was talking about check out that movie um, Left Behind, um, let, uh, Leave the World Behind and check out the movie Civil War, you know. But I like to um, watch, you know, um, movies, you know, um, along those lines where, you know, they got a spiritual uh, uh, undertone to them, so to speak. But, yeah, this place is through, man. And the NLT, it says, yeah, how I knew their thoughts and reply any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And, and yeah, that, that's it, because what the scripture says, can two walk together unless they be agreed? I think that's um, it's been a real long time on that one. All right, you know what? Let me see. Oh, it's Amos three and three. So like you. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, if it's that tussling, one person pulling this way, one person pulling that way. I think we should go this way. I think you should. No, you, you, you know, that, that's not happening here in the Americas. And it's, it's a lot of shit that's that's been going on and happening, man. Because this is not the only. Dis, um, 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 they're talking about too many of these things, man. Let's go back real quick. Let's see. They may have a few more down here at the bottom. It's so many of them, I can't even remember them. It's like, God damn. I, I, you know, we be report, we've been reporting on them. See, they have a video on it. The um, Deadly Sloth Fever. Uh, nasty ass ringworm. See, here's another one. CDC warns. Cases of highly contagious parvo virus b19 are on the rise what the fuck is that yeah like yeah it actually says what is it yeah what the fuck is it let's check into this one a little bit this is what i'm talking about there's so many of these shits man they're coming from all angles with this so it's nothing for them to say that you know one of one of the other one you know is 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 you know this shit is retarded man the illness can lead to serious complications for the pregnant people for pregnant who the fuck? Come on, bro. And those with um, compromised immune systems. So basically, 
pregnant women and pretty much older people, I guess. I don't even, well, let's see. I'm sure they're gonna show a commercial, if anything. Yep. Introducing Alexa Emergency Assist. Hand Fuck Alexa. 24-7 help when you need it most. Get help fast. Just ask. Learning about an old respiratory ailment. The CDC says the highly contagious parvovirus B19 is on the rise. This after years of decreased infections because people took precautions related to COVID-19. Parvovirus causes mostly mild symptoms in kids and healthy adults, but can lead to serious complications for pregnant people and those with compromised immune systems. Okay, pretty much what I just read. Uh, another one, man. The CDC, let me see. Cause symptoms and mild symptoms in children, healthy adults, pregnant people. CDC said cases of the virus, which is transmitted through respiratory droplets, are increased after years of decline due to people taking precautions against. Okay, all right. 14 European countries observe unusually high numbers of cases of paravirus B19, ESA. In the U.S., there is no routine surveillance for. So this is what I'm saying, man. Anyway, that's just another one, man. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, oh, I forgot. This guy right here, Dr. Fauci, he supposedly got um uh, uh damn West Nile disease. Yep, Dr. Anthony Fauci recovering after being hospi hospitalized with rare virus. Yep, I forgot about this. Uh, recovering after being hospitalized with the deadly West Nile virus. See, so you got that one out here. That's another one. Shit is retarded. Oh, I forgot of this one in Massachusetts. I'm not, I think this might be the sloth fever too. But yeah, I think they had a curfew over there, man. Potential deadly fever continues to spread in Massachusetts. This was the uh, first place I kind of hurt. Yep. Hold on. Oh, okay, it says each summer Massachusetts residents have to protect themselves from a number of tick and mosquito borne illnesses. Lyme disease is a big one, but there are other illnesses you can catch if bitten by a tick or mosquito. And this year, one that is becoming more common is DAG fleet fever. That's another one. What is DAG? DAG is a viral infection transmitted to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. Most people who get DAG will not have symptoms, but for those who do, the most common. Okay, anyway. Another one, man. Trying to see if there's anything else they got in here other than a bunch of bullshit. All right, let's see what this one is. Superbug that causes rapid death or deletion may be in New York State. A drug-resistant superbug that causes quick de um, deletion, even in healthy people, has made its way to the United States. Health officials are sounding the alarm about hypervirulent Klebsiella pneumonia man these fucking people bro the world help see whenever you see this these people the who the world health organization they confirmed the superbug has been found in 16 countries including the united states infection caused by hvkp are associated with high more mor high morbidity and mortality as well as high path pathogenicity and limited antibiotic choices the world health organization states so they basically telling you with some shit out here yeah we don't have nothing for it but um and, and, and again and again you know i mean like i said we can't speak too much into a, into a lot of this stuff here we go again with this because you know they got the new emer emergency hookup for this one. COV levels very high in half of the U.S. What are latest symptoms? Do you have to isolate? See? Now they're also saying that you... 
it's pretty much something that 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 won't even fuck with you like that really but they want you to take this emergency band-aid so it's been stories all over the place a lot of information has come out you know what i'm saying um as of late that um you know there was some some lies being told so to speak you know they, they even had um uh your boy mark zuckerberg from facebook he you know just um pretty much then then spilled the beans on the the Biden administration and Kamala and them whatever whatever suppressing you know and ha and and pretty much they put the pressure on them to get rid of comments and things of that nature about COV um 19 on Facebook at the time and that you know everything was going on you know if you were saying anything other than what they were saying nah they was getting rid of that shit but he said he was pressured and so now they're trying to override that he said that he, you know, he pretty much was um, hated that he made the, de the decision to actually go with what they wanted him to do. So now they're going to try and counter that. Right. Uh, let's see what this one is. Officials offer a critical warning at the U.S. state confirmed cases of rare but serious infection spread by animals. It is transmitted by ver uh, various rodents. So here you go. You got some more shit. Health officials in Arizona have grown concerns that they're seeing an increase in rare virus spread by rodents that can cause serious health issues. So that's another one. You know, I'm not going to go all up into these stories. I mean, you can look into them. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's pretty much about it on that. But um, I mean, but hey, it's more stuff too, though. It's more, it's more shit to it. It's just some, some, some things that we're seeing as I'm scrolling through. But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. And also, you know, let me just end out with this. Let's go back to Matthew. But Shahawah Shai, he did. He spoke on um certain things that would be happening in the end days. It's a lot of shit out here, man. Um, not to mention HIV is on the rise. Um. I just seen an article about um, UTIs or u urinary tract infections on the rise. And they talking about, I guess, just, you know, whatever, man. Uh, I mean, you know, but sexually transmitted diseases are on the rise. There's a lot of shit going on out here, man. A lot of stuff going on out here. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Or don't be misled, man. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Mashiach or the anointed one, and shall de and deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. This is how we know we're in the end, man. Because all that's happening. You got, hey, they, they bucking over there. Israel bucking from both from two different fronts over there, man. They they bucking with Hezbollah. <laughs> they 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 still well, I guess they ain't no really no fight coming from Gaza really like that. But then again, oh no, you you don't really hear about. I guess we only hear the side that the is Israel is winning, but they they getting their asses kicked overall. Okay, but it says, "See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." Then you got the Ukraine. Um, uh, Russia just hit Ukraine off with a barrage of, of more damn missiles and of course you the u.s is in in the mix of all of it you know in the in the um the least of the flocks will draw them out because that thing that's going on over there in israel is getting um is, is becoming more widespread verse seven for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And these things are happening. So let's go into this word pestilence real quick. G3061 is um, Lamos in um, Greek. Let's see. Pestilence. A pestilent fellow, pest or plague. Um, a plague. Yep. Let's see here. A plague, a contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever and delirium. A 
okay and they got a lot of similars to it but overall yeah hey man it's you know the hey it says what is plagues caused today T today we use the word plague to me to mean illness caused by yersinia pestis usually we also call it by the specific type of plague it is bubonic septis uh whatever pneumonic um pneumonic anyway but pretty much man a diseases man and you got um some people that's sitting around playing with damn diseases all day and they 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 call it the uh your 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 CDCs and, and, and the people all over all these governments all over the world are fucking with shit. You know they got labs. They all in the labs trying to come up with, uh, with new research, new this, new that. We got a new you know they just testing with shit that they just shouldn't be fucking with, man. Because the Lord made the fools for medicines, and here you go, he done completely fucked that up. You think all these people like and hey, nobody got nothing in their in their in system really to fight off nothing because they're getting no nutrients from what they're eating, man. Of course, you're going to be plagued with a lot of your or susceptible to a lot of shit. If, if your diet is McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? And then all these goddamn processed foods, then not to mention when you do call yourself eating healthy, you fuck around and get a salad. And, it, and it's GMO, you know, so this place is through, man. This place is through, and it, it, it can't carry on too much more further. So we'll see what's going on with the election. Of course, they normally talk about stuff like this um, around, around the time that the election comes around. And again, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. This man, he'll throw a monkey wrench out there, boy, on your ass so quick. You never know, black swan. Motherfucker throw a false flag out there on you so quick, boy. And you'll know it's some bullshit. And, and he getting so sloppy with it. He he, he conceded his bullshit himself. But they don't care. Because what, what can you do about it? There's nothing you can do. You can't fight him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's going to take the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to take this man down and out of power, man. And he's doing just that. And he's starting with the breakdown of um 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 a lot of these curses are being reversed on him. That division of your families, that, that 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 discord among your people. See, we clearly just read that a uh, nation divided cannot stand. This place is not going to stand. Uh, it, it's too divided, man. People all over the place, man, with their thoughts in this place. I believe this. I believe that. I believe this. I believe that. And they out here marching, fighting. What's the left? You ain't never seen motherfuckers marching about everything. You never seen stuff like that, man. I don't, I don't think, I don't recall ever seeing nothing like that 10 years or so ago. Motherfuckers been marching and they marching about everything. So we'll see what's going to co uh, uh, come of this election, man. But I tell you what, motherfuckers on Trump's side hate Kamala so bad. They hate Biden so bad and vice versa. So it, it, it's just a, a real boiling of a pot, man. It's just ready to just. You know, <laughs> food is done. <laughs> you know, you whipping off the plates and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the matter of fact, the table is set. The table is set. You know, motherfuckers. Hey, 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 hey this place is. Hey, it's, we bought out of here, man. It's gonna get a little rough though, but we. It's it's got to. It has to get rough before it get better. You know, because we're just working towards the reward. Just pray for uh, mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And especially pray for um, protection and safety, you know, from these these plagues. And, and, and But the Lord said, that, you know, he's not going to even, you know, he's not going to um, hit us with the, uh, let me see, how's the word? Hit us with the diseases of Egypt. Let me see. I'm trying to think how it's worded. But the Lord was hitting Egypt ass off. And you know this is, um, modern day uh egypt all over again Sure, uh, maybe it was Egyptians. 
I'm not sure exactly how it was worded, but um, the Lord said, um, you know, he, he he's not the elect man. He's gonna he's gonna protect the elect from um things like that, man. You have your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You're gonna be okay on that end, man. You know, but you gotta you know have faith, man. But pray, you know, if, if, that's one of our number one tools. Our number one weapons is prayer. The Lord actually gave us that power, man. To you know, He actually gave us that 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 privilege, so to speak, to you know, to come directly to the Father through the um through His Son Yahweh Shai. That He's you know He that you, we're out here doing the work, we're doing what we're supposed to do, you know, so to speak. And he's going to handle the rest. I mean, it is what it is. You're being obedient, doing what he said to do. He's going to handle the rest, man. He says that this wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. He also said that my servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. You know, my, my servant shall have joy, shall sing for joy. And the rest of these these people, they're going to be howling for vexation of spirit. And we're praying to you. How about Shemiah was shot for that mercy, man? But just continue to pray and have faith in that what you're praying for, man. Don't doubt because you... He said that um, a doubtful man basically is like um, the waving, a wavering of a sea. You toss back and forth, to and fro. You don't want to be one of those people. You want to pray to the Lord and know for a fact that what you pray for is going to be um, answered. Especially if it's his will, you know. So, you know, just wanted to just touch on this. I, I seen it and I'm like, God damn, another, another one? Another one? <laughs> I ain't never heard of no shit like this before, but another one is out here, man. Another one is out here. Another one bites the dust. Let's see what again. Uh, as sloth fever spreads across U.S., what to know about? Yeah, all right. Anyway, too many of them popping up, man. You even had the um, the damn Pope declaring emergency. Like, who the fuck are you? So they can come from any angle, man. It, 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 they got <laughs> they come with any angle they choose to come with, man. Oh, man, okay, but anyway, I'm at the at the plantation. I gotta go ahead and rock. I got a little something to do here. But anyway, I, I you know, I pray that the point was made. I pray that you know you you were edified and that you got some information to kind of pass along, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord said to watch and pray. You know that we got to keep up with stuff like this. So I'm gonna end off there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come your soul in the Bible ball.